Hi, it's Amber Lee with Tinker Tailor Sweater Sai, and I wanted to talk to you today about a project that I've been working on. I have been cleaning out my closets of things that don't fit me anymore or things that are five years or older. I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I hate having to go and buy new clothing. And so I will hang on to the same thing for years. So I have a bunch of these tank tops and t-shirts laying around that I really don't wear. And I thought what I would do is put them together in a different way and try something new. So that was before I decided to videotape it because we thought it would be a good video to show you how I use my serger. So I've already done the cutting of a black tank top and the red t-shirt. And then I have a coral t-shirt that's gonna go on the end. And I thought what I would do is just cut it, put the seams together, right sides together, and pin it down. And that's all I've done so far. So now I'm going to use my serger. And if you notice, my serger has blue thread on it. And because I'm being lazy, and because it's not really going to show anyway, I've decided that I'm going to leave it just like that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to serger all the way around. And I... There, you could lift the presser foot up and do it that way, but I'm just going to do it like this. i got to find my... Chloe, you're sitting on my thing again, honey. <laughs> the dog wanted to help. All right, so here we go. And the, the nice thing about this is that the serger will cut an edge and make it nice and neat. We're almost at the end. I just wanted to explain what, how I was doing this. I'm just, because the fabric was together, I was just using the edge of my serger here to use that as the guideline all the way around. So we're just gonna finish this up. And then all you do is run it off like that. So basically right now I have kind of a long tunic. Uh, it doesn't come quite to my knees. So my next step is I'm going to pin the coral fabric right sides together, starting by pinning at the seams. And I'll pin that and then I'll come back and show you that. So this is the bottom of the coral t-shirt that I had had. And I just cut it off, but I left the finished bottom on this one because I wanted to have a finished look and I didn't want to have to hem it. And if anybody else has ever done any sewing, you don't want to have to hem it either. So I'm taking the seam here and the seam here and matching them up. And then before I pin anything else, I'm going to go over to the other side and do the same thing. Now the t-shirts were the exact same size, which makes it easy. And the tank top and the first t-shirt, uh, I think the tank top might have been a little wider at the point that I attached it to the bottom of my tank top. I also did cut off the bottom of the tank top so that it would make it easier for me to sew the two things together. So here's the other one. I'm just going to pin that. I hope I'm doing this right because I'm not sure. I have to think. So when it's inside out, yep. Okay. All right. All right. So I, so I've pinned the two side seams. That's all I've pinned. Now, starting at this side seam, I'm just going to quickly pin this. So that's that's all you're gonna do, and you're just gonna continue and do the other half the same way. Here we are. I decided to come outside because it's gorgeous, and I wanted to show off my brand new tank dress. This is how it turned out. Color blocked. I love it. It's not a maxi. It's not full length, which is different because I usually wear full length ones. And it's a perfect little vacation dress. So I'm excited. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll be back.